Good afternoon. Happy Friday. It's me, Dr. Kathleen Nash, here in my very quiet, empty office as we all deal with that social distancing in order for us to protect ourselves from the current health scare, which is the coronavirus. Under normal circumstances, especially for the next 30 days, I will be in my office, in this office, as little as possible, and I will be working with and talking to you guys pretty much either directly from my home or directly in my private office, but of course, because we are a non-essential business, we won't be accepting any kind of foot traffic at least for the next three to four weeks. Oh, but thankfully I'm here for a phone call. Okay, so I happen to be here today mainly because I was eagerly awaiting the arrival of a newly added supplement specifically to help my clients combat this whole viral scare that we're dealing with. I'd been working with my developer for the last couple weeks. Finally arrived today. I knew it was gonna arrive today and I wanted to make sure that I was here to get the supplementation so that I can start adding it. More on that later. It is a supplement aptly named VIR, and that is because the 11 different herbs, roots, and extracts are specifically formulated to target and go after viral disease, microbial infection, antifungal infection, bacterial infection. It's specifically meant to boost the immune system and help ward off infection or, or stop the infection of virus or to help your body quickly overcome it. Because again, only nutrition is going to help your body overcome the damage or give it the proper tools that it needs to fight. plus the social distancing, plus the proper hygiene measures are like the three big things you can be doing right now to limit and minimize your risk. However, while I was here, we happened to ha get a package where somebody decided that they didn't wanna take the supplement and they decided to return it to me. Unfortunately, at this time, because of the coronavirus situation, I have to amend my refund policy and let you guys know that at this point, we are not able to accept any supplementation back once it exits the door. That's because we have to limit the risk of exposure or contamination, not only to me and my staff, but more importantly, to you guys. I'm sure that none of you guys would want to have any supplement that was in somebody else's hands or you didn't know exactly where it came from. I feel the exact same way where in the past, this wasn't such a big concern. At this point, because of how little we know about the coronavirus, the refund policy is temporarily amended where once any product, any binder, any material leaves the office, the sale is final. We are unable to take it back because we cannot restock it, we cannot resell it, and we would never want to risk your safety when it comes to taking this nutrition. So I'm not gonna show you the person's return address. I went ahead and blocked that, but here is the product that we received. We can clearly see that it was opened, okay? And as a result, we have no idea what the product or the information here on the inside has been exposed to. In fact, I was wary of even accepting it because I knew it was coming from a private source, somebody that had purchased it and just decided they, for whatever reason, didn't want to take the supplement. I almost refused delivery, but then I thought, no, what I would rather do is I will just walk it out and show you guys that without even opening it, I am going to throw it away. It got no further than my front desk. This is as far as it's gotten. And I will be disinfecting this area once I throw it away. So let's go ahead and take it out and toss it. Or let's unlock the door first, okay? Here it is sitting right here. Let's go ahead, haven't opened it. We're gonna take it out and unfortunately, we're gonna throw it away. Now I don't know how windy it is out here and if you guys can hear me very well at all, but I did wanna talk briefly about nutrition while we're walking on out to the garbage. I know we're still in that situation where maybe the supplies on the store shelves are limited. In order to help you guys with that, I've tried to add more foods to your food management plans. I've allowed you to mix the vegetables in category B. 
The main thing I want you guys to be aware of is that an abundance, I'm seeing a lot of people purchasing really inflammatory and immune busting foods as a way for them to quarantine themselves. You guys, hopefully I'm preaching to the choir and you know that that kind of food not only causes metabolic disease, the kind of disease that makes it difficult for your bodies to lose body fat or burn body fat properly, but guys, it really compromises your immune system, okay? Especially because we really don't know enough about this virus yet for us to make any specific conclusions. We're still just trying to minimize the spread. All right, I'm at the, I'm at the trash. So hold on, I'm trying to do this one hand. Here's the trash. In it goes. We keep going on, believing. And on and on, you were all cried out. Because we don't feel like throwing it all away. We don't feel like it. Really, what I wish this client would have done before they decided that they were just going to send the product back is to contact us. One, so we could have told them that we wouldn't be able to refund it. And two, to encourage them to take the nutrition. Um, me personally right now, I'm taking four different types of my own nutritional line. I'm taking sustenance, I'm taking detoxify, I'm taking incinerate, and I'm taking synthesis. But now on top of that, I'm adding the VIR. That one just arrived today. That one's going in my arsenal too. I have like a full shot class every day of all of the supplementation that I'm currently taking. But I'm also making sure to avoid other foods that I know are inflammatory and that I know are going to put me in a susceptible state for contracting some kind of infection. Um, those foods are refined carbohydrates or grains, alcohol, and sugar. Okay, those three types of food in particular make it very, very difficult for your body to fight or resist getting sick from any kind of illness, not just metabolic disease, but this respiratory, cold, flu, microbial, antifungal, all of that. Again, temporary change or amendment to the refund policy. We're not able to take back any product once it leaves here. I'm getting ready to disinfect my counter. Please also know that we're taking every step to protect you for any supplement that's going out. All supplementation, once it arrives, has already been disinfected by my supplier. We also disinfect each and every single supplement bottle with a 70% alcohol solution to make sure that it's safe once it arrives to you. However, I would highly recommend that when you're purchasing when you're purchasing supplementation, especially in the next couple months, simply wash the bottle with soap and water, just like you guys are doing to your hands, just to give yourself that little bit of extra protection to make sure that when you take the supplement, that it's safe for you to take. So hopefully this video finds you well. I'm wishing nothing but the best thoughts for all of you guys. Together, we're gonna get through this. Hopefully we're gonna be stronger when we come out the other side, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.